A young woman who worked at a hospital had discovered that while she was changing, she was filmed by a hidden camera that her coworker planted in what was supposed to be a safe place, the hospital changing room. Soon, she began experiencing excruciating trauma and unending nightmares from the incident. On September 24th, she decided life was too much to bear and jumped from the 17th floor of her apartment building, taking her own life. This is a harrowing and traumatic life story of many South Korean women today who are the victims of Mocha. South Korea, a nation considered to be one of the safest countries worldwide, is the most afflicted country in the world when it comes to the poison of hidden cameras and digital sex crimes. Today, I am speaking on behalf of the nation of Korea to get rid of the scourge of spy cameras completely and to advocate for the punishment of digital sex crimes. Spy cameras, more commonly known as mocha in Korea, are used by criminals to film illicit videos of women without their consent or awareness. These cameras are usually hidden in places where women are most vulnerable and unsuspecting, such as women's public bathrooms, public showers, and motel rooms, because after all, no one should have to feel in danger or risk in places like these. After these spy cameras record video clips capable of permanently ruining these young women's lives, the sky spy cameras are then quickly retrieved by the culprits. The videos are then to be posted and sold on the dark web to be consumed as pornography by perverse strangers around the world. This pipeline of hidden cameras to perverse laptops and phones preys on unaware women and turns their lives to video clips to be sold and played around with. This not only inflicts trauma and suffering that no one should have ever have to go through on thousands of women living in Korea, but also makes living in South Korea as a woman extremely dangerous. During the course of five years, more than 30,000 cases of hidden camera sex crimes were reported to the police. To make matters even worse, over 63% of sex crime cases involving spy cameras are dropped with mere warnings to the criminals. The current system is rife with corruption and wholly ineffective. As these criminals are freed back to society after committing such heinous crimes and violating the basic rights of safety of women, what lesson will these criminals learn after being let off the hook so easily after committing such a notorious crime? Since these criminals know they will get away after inflicting irreversible trauma on women, won't they just repeat it all over again to someone else? <sighs> women deserve to live free from fear, without the need to avoid public places like public bathrooms. It is utterly unacceptable that the justice system of Korea has failed to protect women for such a long period of time and allowed the situation to escalate to the point where every respectable and righteous woman residing in Korea is in danger of becoming reduced to just another piece of lifeless pornography. A change needs to happen, and it needs to happen now. Today, I came up with three solutions that the Korean government should implement to get rid of this nation-threatening issue and to ensure women can feel secure and safe wherever they go. Because this is just the basic human rights everyone deserves. The initial and possibly the most crucial step in solving this crisis is preventing spy cameras, the single product responsible for endangering all women living in Korea from getting in the hands of these criminals. Spy cameras, being so small and inconspicuous, silently destroys the lives of women without their knowledge. It is inevitable that these women will forever live in danger and fear, as long as a tool of evil is still within reach of the criminals. By taking action to ban the import of hidden cameras, we can prevent anyone from experiencing this traumatic violation of their body ever again and ensure that women feel safe and secure wherever they go. However, their first solution alone isn't enough to combat digital sex crimes because devices like smartphones can be 
still used for the same crimes. That's why the second step for solving this nation-threatening issue is significantly increasing the punishment of criminals who illegally record and distribute these life-ruining videos. Currently, over 43.5% of digital sex crimes are dropped by prosecutors in Korea. This is a primary reason why these cases thrive in Korea. The criminals aren't proportionally punished for their disgusting actions. If the punishments for the crimes are higher, the criminals will finally face the consequences of ruining innocent women's lives. Also, this will prevent the lives of more women from being ruined. Currently, like in many other countries, there is little to no punishment faced by those who buy and share and watch these videos. And as long as there is still a paying consumer base, sadly, the criminals will never stop. That is why the last step is completely in wipe, completely wiping out this issue is criminalizing those who watch illegally recorded videos. If we start imprisoning perverts who watch these illegally recorded tapes of women, there will no longer be an audience to purchase the, these videos. And if we implement all three of these steps, we can ensure a safer society for all. As much as we all want to, we cannot reverse the deaths and tragedies that women have suffered due to Mocha. We can never bring back the young women who committed suicide after being filmed in her hospital. That's why we need to ensure that the victims, their loved ones, and society as a whole does not suffer any longer from Mocha. By implementing all three steps of making hidden cameras inaccessible, making harsher punishments for criminals, and criminalizing the watching of such videos, we can assure that no one will have their lives ruined or ended by hidden cameras ever again, and that women can feel safe wherever they go. Thank you.